my back, you ain't my dog. You and coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Borst Chibaya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. Parker. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. UFC middleweight championship fight. The round one clock is starting to tick. The number one contender believes the champ is right for the picking. The champion has heard that noise in the past, and he has dismissed all challenges. He has defended this title. He has taken on all comers. Now tonight, as he tries to continue this championship run, the focus is on this confident number one contender. We'll see how this fight plays out. Or Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost heart in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity-patting. He's not touching. 
every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, he's got his back now. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the corners. One, one takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. That punch, no good. Massive head kick! Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. Checks the leg kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent that? You got to be so aware defensively. Because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns with those trips in all kinds of different scenarios. Nice hammer fist. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine choke. Might have the neck here. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high cross. Oh, takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. And that will do it! Play as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC middleweight champion of the world, your winner by submission tonight. And it is going to take a spectacular effort to dethrone this guy at 185 pounds.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 42 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Hunka. So there he is, still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after a win by way of submission here tonight. And despite the fact that the number one contender came in and was all the rage, he got the job done relatively easily here tonight, submitting his foe inside the distance in defense of his middleweight title. Only one thing left to do tonight, that is to party. The celebration is on in the red corner with the undisputed UFC middleweight champ.